are making a stand right now in a community called Casita Springs. It's on the 33 between Ventura and Ojai. KKL 9's Tom Wade is there live tonight with a look at the fire lines right now. Tom. Yeah, Peter and Elsa, right now there are still some homes that are threatened in this area. You can see the hillsides pretty much lit up with flames there. Not too much wind here, so that's the good news. So firefighters are not panicking in any way as they see these flames on the side of this hill, but certainly cause for concern for people who live not just a few yards really from those flames. Take a look at this video we shot just a short time ago at this nursery that burned. That was a home as well as a nursery for a couple who apparently spent years building this nursery up. It went down in just a short time. Embers from the side of that hill apparently blew across the street, Nye, which is just uh, near Highway 33. Those embers hit one of the trees and then it spread. The fire just tore open that nursery and there was not much firefighters could do. They raced to the scene. Take a look at some other video we shot here in Casita Springs. You can see this is an area near a home. Apparently there were several rescues in this area. One of the people we heard rescued was a disabled man and firefighters had to go in there along with sheriff's deputies and just scoop him out of there, get him out of there as quick as they could as these flames raced into the area. When you talk to people in this area, you can just imagine how much stress they were under. We talked to a guy whose church is just feet from those flames we just showed you. Our friends across the street, um, Australian nursery is gone. Uh, the house burnt, the uh, store burnt, Moody's store burnt, which is sad. It's something that I never wanted to see, really. It's, you know, it sets in, it's a terrible feeling. So very ominous right there. I would probably call that more than a hot spot. That is definitely a big chunk of flames we're seeing on the side of the hill here along Highway 33. A lot of people who live in this neighborhood who were evacuated earlier, some of whom came back, are now reconsidering that, partly because of what you're looking at there on your screen. That is something we are seeing across the area. These hot spots flare up, and we're very close to homes. They're not far away at all from where you see all those flames. So as you can imagine, firefighters monitoring it, but there's so much rugged, hilly terrain here. It's very difficult for them to get up in there and fight those flames. Also, without the air support, without the FOSS check and all the other things that we usually see dropped on these fires, you know, with the weather the way it's been, they haven't been able to do that. So obviously that's why we had so many homes destroyed and we have so many challenges here for these firefighters as they try to do their best working 24-7 trying to get these fires out. So that is the very latest here from Casita Springs. I'm Tom White. Of course, we'll be monitoring the situation. We'll have more on CBS 2 News at 11. Back to you in the studio.